Shalom, shalom, peace, power, and blessings, family. Peace, power, and blessings. You already know who it is and what it is, man. It's your brother back with another endeavor of love. First and foremost, I want to stop and give Kohala to Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Wamalak, Yahweh Shai, or in the English tongue, all praises unto the Most High God. And we do so in the name of his only begotten son, who the world called Jesus Christ, man. Hey, listen, man. Your brother back at you with another installment, man. We're going to go into these precepts, right? On the topic of watching the company that you keep, you know? Hey, as the body of Yasharala, or in the English tongue, as the body of Israel, you know, we, we was called to be Kwadash, right? Or in the Hebrew tongue, holy, right? And holy meaning separate from the world. You know, Kendrick Lamar said a line. He said, I'm looking at a bunch of Christians. No, he said, I'm looking at a, a, a crowd from a distance. No, he said, I'm looking at a crowd in an instance and from a distance can't tell which one is a Christian. Damn. You know, and that bar right there, it goes so heavy in our day and our time. It's so revy. It's so really relevant. To what's going on in our days, man, because a lot of people claiming holiness, but moving the way of the world. And accordingly, brothers and sisters, the Lord would not have that thing so, man. In these last days, we called to be separate. Quadash, holy. And you're going to know them by their fruits. That's what Galatians 5 say. And let's get right into these precepts, man. I ain't going to hold y'all too long, but it's going to be 10 precepts long and 10 precepts strong. Let's go in, man. On the topic of watching the company that you keep, all right? And let's go in first with the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. We're going to start chapter 5, and we're going to start at verse 9. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 5, starting at verse 9, you know? And it reads, hey, watch the company you keep. And it reads, I wrote unto you in an epistle, not to company with fornicators, 10, Yet not all together with fornicators of this world. Hey, that's them brothers who be, a hey, <laughs> dabbling with them worldly ways, man. Listen, and it continues on. Well, let's start 10 from the jump. We're going to read it and then we're going to break it down, make it plain upon tables. Yet not all together with fornicators of this world or with the covetous or extortioners or with idolaters. For then must she needs go out of the world. Hey, so man, listen, man. Hey, the epistle was clean that he wrote to the brothers and sisters. He told them, listen, stray away from fornicators, lovers of this world. Brothers talking about Givenchy, right? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with, 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 with getting your fashion on and looking good. But when you start going off into this fact, you call yourself a fashionista. Hey, yo, bro, a fashionista, whatever these dudes be calling it. Hey, you going off, brother. You know. Hey, man, continuing on. Hey, extortioners. These, the boosters, brother, always got to play about this money. Some type of backward scheme, right? Come on, man. Fraud. Brothers out here about these money, about this money, man. Hey, straight up gunplay with a brother. Tell him, give it up. Or, 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 or hey, lay down and stay down, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Old school. I'm from the old school, fam. I can't fake the fizzle with mine. Hey, listen. Or the covetous. And that's these jealous brothers who see someone else having something and then all of a sudden they just need to have that thing, bruh. Green eyes, jealousy. Hey, listen. We did uh, we did extortioners. Hey, idolaters, man. This is heavy. This is people who don't believe in the same God as you. They don't believe in the God of this Bible. And contrary to popular Christian belief, the Bible says if you don't believe in our father, you believe in what? An idol. You believe in an idol, therefore you are what? An idolater. Hey, listen. And don't do these things because then you're going to have to go out the world, right? And this was just anybody, he said in the epistles. But let's take it one deeper. Let's read 11. And it reads, But now I have written unto you not to keep company with... In hey, hold on, hold on. Not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a for. Hey, now this is your family now. See, y'all don't understand, man. Right? You, th hey, bro. Let me read. Let me read. 
Y'all don't understand how deep this Bible is, man. <laughs> but now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner with such and one. No, not to eat. Hey, listen, man. So he telling you, hey, he telling you plain up on tables. Once upon a time, I wrote to you not to deal with these brothers and sisters out here who be doing these things. But now I'm going to call you and I'm going to tell you, listen, if you got someone in your family that's doing this in these times, he said, listen, you got to separate from these folks who carry it on in a way that's going to lead to destruction, family. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, admonish them. Shine the light when you come around, being separate, quadash, holy, right? But do not get caught lacking and slacking, trying to keep company with these brothers in any type of extraordinary circumstances. You see them on the here and there. The Bible say, hey, this thing was given to us to live peaceably with all men, if it be possible. Well, if you see a brother, he ain't going out the way you done rebuked him. It's still okay to say, how's it going, brother? Give him a shalom. Hey. I see you, brother. Blessings. Hey, I see you. I got an OG right now. He don't believe in the Bible. We just talk about the game. I don't respect the OG just because I, I hold up the G code. Hey, man, we falling out the way, man. And accordingly, we got to be uh, uh, bold as a lion and humbled as a child. Right? Right? We want to be as bold as a lion and innocent as doves, man. Right? I Meaning sticking to this G code, man. Listen, these commandments is meant for me and you to be prosperous and above all nations, man. The Lord gave this to us, man, so we could be the gods. And accordingly, we got to watch the company that we keep it, man. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Let's keep going, man. Twelve. For what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Do not ye judge them that are within? But them that are without, God judge it. Therefore, put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Hey, so breaking this down, playing up on tables quickly and swiftly. Hey, the Lord going to end up dealing with these brothers who are going out the way, man. And you don't want to be nowhere around them when they get this smoke, man. Because the Lord going to judge them. And when they do, man, and you don't want to be around it. So what it say? Put them away from you, man, so you don't partake in the wickedness that's going to come on them people. That's what the message and the blessing is this week. Because you look at it, you say, man, what the brother talking about? Why we got to um, watch who we dealing with? Because you don't understand there's a judgment. Hey, we're going to deal with some plagiarized, revised, worldly wisdoms called game, right? And these is plagiarized Bible wisdoms, man, right? One of them, man, hey, 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 brothers be guilty by association, man. You don't, you ain't never heard of that, man? I'm talking now. <laughs> hey, you know the, the endeavor's always a freestyle endeavor. But you ain't never heard of the term guilty by association? Right? You don't even, hey, you don't even do that stuff. But because you hanging around these type of dudes, when the funk went off, Hey, hey, when the when the jump off popped off, hey, when the pop off popped off for real, hey, innocent bystanders get in touch. That's what you call guilty by association. That's judgment, family. Hey, let's continuously go into these verses, man. Right? Hey, let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter thirteen, man. You know, your brother stay dipping and diving. Y'all don't know. Y'all can get both of these in the 16. This is the 1611 King James Bible right here. What you seeing before your eyes. You know, your brother ain't no incredible scholar. But, you know, what, what I have learned, I hold fast until the Lord come. You know what I'm saying? And accordingly, brother, you can find this apographa and this, everything that's written in this King James Bible right here, man. You find both of these in the 1611 King James Bible. Man. You don't know. That's before there was a, a, a J. In the Bible, so Jesus' name is Aishashu. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all don't know nothing about that. The Hebrews come out here and tell you the real name of Jesus Christ ain't Jesus. And y'all just flip the, hey man, it's a switch that go off in your brain. You think that we anti-Christ and we telling you something. And you ain't even researched the thing. The Bible say our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You know your brother be going through the spirit. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus, right? Chapter 13. And let's read if the thing is canon, man. Because if, if this thing is a part of this thing, then they all going to say the same thing. 
Your brother ain't too complicated with this, man. Hey, it's the Shabbat. I'm trying to relax and enjoy myself, man. You know? Hey, let's go Ecclesiasticus 13 and chapter 15. And it reads, Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorteth according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? So the sinner with the godly. Hey, man, what communication have the light with the dark now? Ecclesiasticus, this book, of the wisdom found in here is high, y'all. The wisdom of the Lord is high, man, but I'm going to break this down for you. Listen, it's a every beast loveth his like, man. Every beast loveth his kind. We're going to break that down. Make that clear up on tables, plain up on tables, right? Wifey done took over the playlist on your boy. You know. Hey, but listen. Every beast loveth his kind, man. You know, birds of a feather flock together. So like you. You get that? And every man loveth his neighbor. Hey, man. Now listen, listen. All flesh consorteth according to kind. And a man will cleave to his like. Hey, so listen, as a beast loveth his like, all flesh consorteth to its kind. You hear that? That's birds of a feather flock to, hey, brother, you ain't never seen, you know, two brothers, they out there, you know, the, hey, 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 these brothers at the mall, you know. These brothers dress and fly, and they both like to do the same things. Hey, brother, you not finna see a godly man hanging out with the sinners, brother. You not finna see a lion chilling with, with a damn sheep, bruh. Except for in the kingdom, man. Right? And by then, we all gonna be lions. How about that? <laughs> but we gonna be humble as sheep. And that's what I was talking about, brother. It's somewhere in between, right? You know, standing bold in the face of adversity and, and standing bold against the evildoers and being humble as a child so that you may enter into the kingdom, man. Right? It's right there in the middle because a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord, man. Right? We balance brothers, man. We judging righteous judgment, man. And accordingly, when it comes to the company that we keep it, we keep in the G code and make sure making sure it's royal, man. Right? Hey, we making sure that we walking and talking according to royalty, man. And you're not finna catch the bums consorting with the kings unless the king's gonna lay down some blessings for the brothers who in poor state, low esteem. But internally and spiritually rich. Y'all don't hear me, man. Hey, we gonna drop these jewels not amongst swine. Lest they turn and be aggravated at the blessings of wisdom that is too high for a fool and try to rent our garments. And we got to kill a demon, right? Then we get delivered unto the judge and we get thrown in jail, man. How we going to do the Lord work, man? Right? Accordingly, man, it all go together. One plus two equal three, man. Hey, it's levels to this faith walk, man. Your brother been tasked to keep y'all laced up. That's two. That was too long, but it was too strong. Let's keep going, man. Let's go 2 Corinthians 6, man. Because you got to understand the beginning of this to say what? What fellowship have a wolf with a lamb, so the sinner with the godly? What communication? Let's go 2 Corinthians. Brother say, hey, he finna pull. What communication have the good? Nah, brother, it's through the spirit. Stick this. Hey, 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 walk with me, brother. Walk with me, man. You know, your brother prayed that y'all been blessed, man, and y'all maintaining in the spirit, man. I say that, and I mean that thing. Because, you know, we battle temptations at an all-time high, and one of these, one of the biggest things we get caught lacking on is watching the company that we keep, man. Hey, Corinthians 6, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, right? And let's go at verse 14, man. Again, your brother don't confess or profess to be some scholar when it comes to this Bible. But through the power of Yahweh. Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, or in the English tongue, the heavenly father, the God and creator, the ancient of days, the almighty Abba Yahweh, the father, 
right? The creator of all, the omnipotent, right? Come on, man. Omnipotent. Come on, man. Listen, bruh. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 14. And in the name of his only begotten son, who the world called Jesus Christ, the life, truth, and the way. Hey, don't get me started, man. We could go. Listen. <laughs> Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness and what communication have the light with the darkness? Come on, man. Y'all know what verse I was going to, man. Hey, the Lord moved through the spirit, man. And this, and this thing is playing up on tables. But one way that we know that this thing is true, man, because it tell you what? Not to keep consort. Hey, what did that thing say? Idolaters idolaters. Hey, my bad. So like y'all was looking for idolaters. Hey, loving. Hey, we're going to let this low. Hey, listen, idolaters though. First Corinthians five and nine was telling you not to consort with idolaters and, and second Corinthians six and 14 is going into the same thing, man. But this one right here, the light in the dark, man. So like, yeah, that's how you know it's all through the spirit, man. Hey, listen, Brother, go here in his mind, think he's doing what he's doing. The Lord want to cut him one time. Listen, so the sinner with the godly, Ecclesiasticus 13 and 17. What fellowship have a wolf with the lamb? So the sinner with the godly. That thing say, what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communication have the light with the darkness? Hey, man, come on, man. You know, the words may change, but the message remains the same. And that's what we're trying to tell, brothers. You know, this is all through the spirit, man. We go through this book. We get the mess. Hey, the Bible verses, man. The Lord give us a topic. He said, hey, man, get the, get, the, get the body right on the company, bro. Hey, get the body right on the company that they keeping, man. And make sure that we tight. Because a lot of brothers and sisters going to go out wrong. Still dabbling with the street, man. Hey, y'all don't hear me, man. The Lord telling me to say this right now, man. The, the Ruach Kodash, hey, hey, the Holy Spirit telling me to talk to somebody. And he said, listen, man, you keep consorting with these street low life bums and you ain't making that full conversion and you gonna get got. Hey, that's clear as day, man. That's a warning for somebody, man. Stop playing around with these streets, man. I'm gonna give y'all my personal testimony after this next verse. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 13 and verse 20, y'all. You know? I'm going to give y'all some personal testimony, man. Because, listen, your boy got... Hey, your boy felt the sting of the Lord word not listening and taking heed to these scriptures. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story, man. It's going to be two minutes. Tell you how a man... Hey, I'm going to tell you, man. You know. Brothers, read this Bible, man. You think it's a game. You think it's some words on a page, man. You know. Brothers not understanding the full severity of this thing, man. This is Proverbs chapter 13, starting at verse 20. And it reads, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of a fool shall be destroyed. Hey, listen, y'all. Let me read that one more time. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 13, starting at verse 20. Because some of these cuts be so cold, they'll just smack you and you won't even know it. Listen, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You know what that mean? That's that guilty by association I was talking about. You see, we going to say some things and the Lord going to prove that thing through the power and the spirit, man. Right? And accordingly, there ain't no half slapping with this thing, man. You either all about the Lord's work, you know where you stand at, or you still trying to play it both ways. Hey, don't get caught up out here, man, with these lovers of the real, bro. You out here dealing with brothers who love boosting, who love getting money another way. And then somebody see them in traffic and it is what it is and they get done dirty and, and you was right there. Now you traumatized. Hey, man, stray yourself from the traumatic incidences that's going to happen to these people who going to get caught up in an incident that they never knew, man. The Lord going to come in the twinkle of an eye, man. In a moment that they never knew, man. You waiting for the sound. Of, hey, you waiting for the angels to come out the sky and blow the trumpet so you know that Jesus Christ is coming. So you go to the church and repent and get right and you can go to heaven. And you don't understand that the Lord going to come when you think not. Bro, heart attack, stroke, 
car accident, random shooting with a, a damn demon who went into a store and just start capping up people in Walmart, bro. The baby's getting it with sickness, pestilence. You could get caught up with Corona out here. A flu could take your ass. A, a, a damn bite from a, a poisonous thing could take you out the way, brother. You got to understand how precious life is and how detrimental and pivotal and precious these jewels of life are, man. And why the Lord say, keep it secret. Don't even give it to some of these brothers because it's too high, man. You're going to give it to them. They're going to get mad. And that's you consorting as a as an eagle with damn pigeons, man, right? On a bird metaphor tip, right? That's you being a lion. You you you, you chilling with the cheetahs, right? 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 You you hey, 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 you you done went off, right? You done went to the uh to the to the to the jaguar camp. And you like, yo, I'm I'm jagging it now, bruh. I'm 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 you done try to shave your mane metaphorically. You done curved your ways, you know, for to be loved by this world, man. Hey, you done curved your ways seeking love from this world, brother, through the spirit. Hey, look up that precept. Let's continue on with the good word of the Lord. Because you don't want to get caught up out here being guilty by association. Let's stick to the book of Proverbs. Let's go 25. Huh? Let's go Proverbs 25. Y'all all right? We moving a little fast today, you know, through the spirit. We got things to do, man. You see what it is, man. Got a big time reveal going on, man. All praises to the Lord for that thing, man. Every Shabbat is a blessed one. But anytime you're able to uh, give thanks and praise unto the Lord for a new life being brought into the world, bro. Woo-hoo. Hey, we're going we gonna to lift the glasses high to the Lord and we're going to make a joyous noise today, boy. How about that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey, man, another Hebrew being born, man, into this earth, man, from the lineage of Shem, man, my little bro. I'm thankful for that thing, man. Side note, let's continue on with the good word of the Lord, shall we? Yeah, no, <laughs> I go through the spirit, man. This is Proverbs chapter 25, starting at verse 26. And it reads, a righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. Hey, man. Now, this one, this one, this one a little bit tough. I had to go into different translations of this, man, to, to really be able to break this one down through the spirit fully and properly. But when you go into this, man, it say, listen, when you fornicating as a righteous man with the world, you're going to fall before the wicked. Hey, man. And you're going to be falling just like the wicked, man. That's why the Lord said in that one verse, put the evil man away from you. Salaki, Salaki, I got a call coming. Let me answer this real quick. <laughs> 